Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Dana, Art's behind the camera, and we're gonna be talking about the 10 most talked about owner favorite features on the 2024 Tucson Hybrid, and this is the SEL Convenience Trim. First up, let's talk about some of the safety features that our owners love. On the SEL Convenience Package, you actually get turn signals on the side view mirrors, and they are LED. We actually have some pretty neat LED upgrades all throughout the car, including the rear tail lights. Now, if you're going down the road, having the rear tail lights be LED is something that's very important to a driver. You definitely want to have that visibility on the road. Next up on our safety features is going to be the rear occupancy alert. When you get the SEL convenience package, you get the ultrasonic rear occupancy alert system, which actually monitors for any movement in the back seat after you have left the vehicle and walked away from it with the engine being off. This can be alerted due to any movement in the back seat, be it from a child, a dog, or grandma waking up from her nap. Another excellent safety feature that owners are loving is the ease of view on all of these screens and displays, especially for navigation. With the nav screen being lower down, you don't get as much glare and it's really easy to see even in bright sun. Next up, let's talk about some of the technology that actually exists in the Tucson hybrids. Specifically the SEL convenience package, you get an upgraded dash display. With the SEL convenience package, you get a 10 and one quarter inch display for your gauges that resembles a lot of other Hyundai setups that we've looked at and enables you to very quickly roll through a lot of different settings and views and displays. Before we take it for a test drive so I can show you our next owner favorite technology feature, I do want to call out and say that this video is brought to you by our channel sponsor, Columbia Hyundai. Another awesome tech feature is because this is a hybrid, you get some hybrid specific views on your gauge cluster and your navigation display to help you keep better tabs on your uh, electric usage, your gas motor, as well as the battery packs. On the gauge cluster, underneath the drive information, you have a really neat little icon to tell you how much battery you have, whether or not you're using the gasoline engine or the electric motor for your hybrid. You'll also notice that the little EV will pop up or disappear depending on if you're using the electric or gasoline engine. On the navigation screen, just go to your hybrid setting and you'll have a similar diagram that also gives you information about your average fuel economy and electric motor usage. Now we're gonna take it for a quick test drive so we can show you the dynamic displays of how neat these hybrid only displays are. Have you ever given your spouse a heart attack by accidentally leaving the sound volume cranked to 11 on your newest heavy metal album? I think I have. Anyway, the SEL convenience package actually has a nice setting to prevent that from happening. Under the setup options, go to sound and you'll notice that you can actually select a startup volume limit. What this does is when you start the car, it's actually a little quieter and doesn't accidentally give your spouse a near heart attack with the volume level. 
Additionally, there is speed dependent volume control, which will actually turn the radio up if you're at a highway speed and suddenly you need a little extra sound boost and turn it down under quiet neighborhood driving. Another really neat tech feature is the ambient lighting. Hyundai has hidden LED lights all throughout the car in the door cards and the center console. And not only can you adjust the color of these lights, but you can also have them adjust the color based off your drive mode. You can have them auto dim in certain darkened settings, and you can automatically or choose to manually adjust the brightness of those LEDs. One really awesome feature is that the air conditioning controls are not buried in the navigation touchscreen. They're actually right below the touchscreen, easy to see, easy to read, and easy to use. The air conditioning controls in the SEL convenience package with where they're positioned, you can easily see them, you can easily read them, and easily use them. You can auto sync or unsync your passenger and driver. You can also diffuse the air. What this feature does is it actually lowers the fan as well as spread out where the air is coming from to prevent that massive blow of air into your face. Another really neat feature is more of an eco-friendly saving energy mode, which is driver only. What this does is it actually turns off the passenger fans in order to prevent extra strain on the engines. With the SEL convenience package, you get added in the giant panoramic sunroof. And the SEL convenience package is only $2,580 more MSRP than the base package blue. Another really amazing technology feature on all of the Tucson hybrids, regardless of trim level, is that all of them will be all wheel drive. Now that means that you get an additional mode of driving, snow mode. If you're on the market for a 2024 Hyundai Tucson or Tucson hybrid or a hybrid in general, and this video helped you out, go ahead and smash that like button and drop us a comment below. We want to hear your thoughts, your opinions, and also, What's your favorite feature of the 2024 Tucson Hybrid SEL Convenience Package? And as always, thanks for watching, take care, stay safe, and we'll see you next time.